So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the question which asked you to assess the relative importance of different players. The first thing that good answers do is they start off by defining players, so you needed to do that. Then they need to outline the different players that you're going to talk about. So people said cartels and TNCs and countries. You need to be specific with these and you need to make sure you say if you're talking about cartels, OPEC, if you're talking about countries, you might say Venezuela, uh, Saudi Arabia, those sort of things. Um, TNCs, make sure you name those as well, so Shell, BP. Then if we actually think about the different players and their impact, if we start with the cartels, OPEC, uh, they're really important um, because obviously they control the amount of oil that is produced and they can essentially change that amount so they can produce more or they can produce less. So they have a major impact and it's really important in this question that says assess that you talk about just how important that is and you make some sort of statement, I think that it is a really large importance or not particularly important. You want to really have a couple of points in there as well so you want to be specific and say that uh, they do it because um, they're trying to keep the price constant and it depends on the amount of demand they increase or decrease the production. Um, you need to pull a good at it from both points of view as well and say that actually it has some positive effects stabilizing the price and that it has some negative effects in that they can manipulate the price too. And then you need to come to that mini conclusion and mini conclusions are really important and things that I need to see. Um, it is important to realise that cartels are acting in their own interest, to be perfectly honest, and it might be worth saying that. Um, if we talk about TNCs, a couple of misconceptions there that they've got some sort of responsibility for the environment or that they can produce less. They won't produce any less, they've got no cares about the environment, they're there to make money. Uh, they are very important and the key point about they're important is they're the ones that are developing the new technologies to extract it and they're the ones that are actually investing a lot of money into getting it out. Now, you could argue that they're always going to do that, so their importance is less because there'll always be a TNC that can do it. But obviously, if we didn't have those, we would be in a lot more difficult situation. Governments would have to fund it themselves, and that might put up the price. Um, so that's important to say, but you must remember with those uh, TNCs that they are in it for the profit and for the shareholders. There's little political alliance in that either, so they won't not produce for political reasons. They will get out whatever they can. Uh, as cheaply as possible with whatever environmental impacts, possibly a bit harsh, uh, so they can sell it. If you're talking about countries, it's important, name them, maybe talk about Saudi Arabia, talk about Norway possibly because that's not in OPEC. Um, obviously there's some political agendas there, uh, they're important because at the end of the day they decide how much is actually produced. Um, countries like the UK have actually sold the field so they can't really control the amount uh, that is produced if you all rights, but other companies could, for example, Gazprom, but that is gas, remember, and Saudi oil uh, in Saudi Arabia, they can control it, but that does come under the idea of cartels. Some people put in some really good points about how uh, taxation of a country can affect um, essentially the supply, but remember, this is about supply, not about demand, so you should be focusing on that. Other people talked about pathways, really important, thinking about uh, oil pipelines and pirates, that's really good. Remember if you're doing that you need to put talk about the relative importance and then assess. Speculators could also come in at two, um, but you've got to be careful about how you contextualise that. And so finally really what you need to do once you've talked about those, got some mini conclusions, made sure you've got some really specific examples, uh, balanced argument, you know, the good things and the bad things, you've got to sum up the relative importance and in a conclusion I would expect you to see that state at least that this is the most important and this is the least important or in some way kind of rank them. The question is asking you to assess and it's really important that you relate back to the command word in the question and you give some sort of decision based on the discussions that you've had. Some good answers and I'm sure that you will develop them over time and I hope this video is helpful for you.